So all right, gardeners, it's time to get our 2024 growing season started. Each year, I like to start out with picking some of my favorite pepper varieties to sow out indoors under some lights before we get them out into the garden later in the season. But before we can do that, we're gonna need some seed starting soil mix to sow out all these seeds in. So let me show you how we make our own do-it-yourself soil mix for all of these awesome peppers. So to put together our seed starting mix, we've just got some simple, simple ingredients here. We've got some uh, vermiculite, some bone meal, I've got some uh, worm castings, and this big brick of cocoa coir. So for many years now, I have been ordering my cocoa coir in these 10 pound bricks online and using those for our seed starting mix. But uh, this last year, finally, I was able to source some Coco Coir locally at one of my garden centers. Uh, they stock this down to earth. Um, what is, you know, look at the size of this thing. This is a bale of uh, Coco Coir, not a brick of Coco Coir like we were ordering before. And uh, that kind of presents its own problem. <laughs> So I've been thinking about what do I do here in order to break this down. I thought maybe what I could do is get a saw and saw it in half. But, uh, you know, I think that's just going to be just a little bit more work than what we really need to do. I've got um, this container that we usually soak our bricks in. Just a basic uh, storage container. So I think we'll just continue to use that. But what we'll do is we'll put some water in the container and then we'll just take this big, huge bale, and put it right down in there and let it soak up the water and see if we can't break off pieces of this as it go along. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be a lot of cocoa coir. Let's see how well this works here. As you can see, I just poured in a few gallons of water here. And we're just gonna, again, like I said, let the bottom soak. I'm sure it's gonna soak up into this here, but as it really starts to soak up, we'll just kind of start breaking it down as we go. So, all right, we're looking at about 20 minutes later here. As you can see here, our uh, giant bale of cocoa coir is actually starting to split here as it's soaking up the water and breaking down. So I think the next thing to do here is to just kind of start breaking this off here. And then uh, we can possibly lower this down a little bit more into a bit more water. just a little bit longer maybe another 20 minutes or so here and uh, I did take that chunk that came off we put it down in there and then I'll kind of scrape off the remaining of what we got soaked in there we still have plenty left over for some more seed starting mix later on as I'll break that down some other time but we do have plenty plenty of uh, coir here to use to get some seed starting mix started up and get those peppers planted. So, all right, now for the fun part. We've got all of our uh, cocoa coir, or at least the amount we're gonna need for this first batch of soil starting mix. And um, it's not an exact science at all. I just really kind of eyeball a lot of this myself over the years, but just to get you started, if this is your first batch, do about three parts of our uh, cocoa coir here with about one part of the uh, worm castings and then another part of the vermiculite. 
And this year, what I'm gonna do uh, is add in about a cup of this bone meal to our seed starting mix. And that should give our seedlings a really great start. of mixing up all of our ingredients, the worm castings, the vermiculite, and the bone meal into our cocoa coir, we now have this really awesome mixture to start all of our indoor seed starts that we're gonna be starting over the next coming weeks, like our peppers, plus our tomatoes, eggplants, and other things that we're gonna grow indoors under our lights in order to grow nice big plants that can go outside when our last frost date approaches. So I hope this video has been helpful in getting you started with your own do-it-yourself seed starting mix. And if you can, please hit that thumbs up button and give this video a like, as well as subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Follow along with all of our garden adventures. Plus, be sure to share this with all of your friends so that they can do a really easy do-it-yourself seed soil starting mix for themselves. And I'll see all of you on our next video.